another thing that was really weird when I first, first got these tires, like the first 10 to 15 miles, the rear end felt really, really choppy. And I was like, wow, what is this? The rear end has is, is calmed way down. It's not as choppy as it was. Which, that's a good thing. Whoa! <laughs> Nelly! Ooh. What happened? Someone not make the turn. That's exactly what happened. They didn't make the turn. Wow, okay. That's sobering. I'm not gonna stop and nib either, so. That looked like a, it was a blue and white bike. I couldn't tell to make, it was too far away. Yeah, someone either didn't make the turn or someone ran them off the road. And it looked like they went straight, so either either it slid or they just didn't make the turn and just tried to ride it out. Well, it's a good thing to see that there was uh, plenty of people there to uh, to assist, to help with the situation. I uh, don't know how I would have acted if I would have watched that unfold. And, I would have been the only one there to see it and to get help. I think I would have, uh, I hope I would have been able to keep myself focused and, uh, and, uh, make sure he is all right and call for help and do everything else that would be needed to done. I, don't even want to imagine what that guy's going through right now. Oh yeah, back back to the tires. Sorry about that. <laughs> Man, I just lose my train of thought sometimes. But yeah, it, it, it rides like a whole different bike now, kind of. It's just it's a lot smoother. It, the, the the more I ride it, the smoother it's getting. Uh, they're Kenda. I don't know the series number, but they're fr the front and match, the front and rear are matched. They're not uh, mismatched. They're they're, they're a match set, and uh, they're uh, 80 20, 80 percent street, 20 percent off road. They look pretty pretty beefy for being 80 20s. I mean, they're just really thick. They're really thick. Uh, tread. Uh, I don't know how it's going to act if I try to do any type of uh, gravel yet. I'll have to see how that goes. But I got these tires for a purpose and mainly because I plan to do a lot of traveling on this or a lot of distance until I have something that's uh, that's more street oriented this is going to have uh, 80 20s on it <laughs> and then once I get a street bike I'll probably go back to 50 50s I'll probably put 50 50s on it because then this will be my toy and the other one will be uh, my trip bike So, trip's getting really close, guys. I'm getting excited and nervous at the same time. Uh, was supposed to my my uh, new chain of sprocket was supposed to come in Wednesday. I went Wednesday to pick it up, and they said it didn't come in yet. 
They said they got the front, but they don't have the rear and the chain. And he's telling me it looks like it's not going to be here till next Monday. So that means I got to try and uh, try and get this done up to the wire, guys. When I go to do the chain, I got new brake pads I'm going to put on too, front and rear. Since I'm going to have the rear wheel off, I might as well just uh, go ahead and do the brakes. And readjusting the chain and all that fun stuff. And I had a friend of mine ask me if uh, the bike seems to follow the cracks in the road a lot more since it's uh, since it's not uh, the other tires it had on it. And I'm not really aiming for the cracks to see if it'll follow, guys. I, I definitely don't want to find out if it does. I definitely don't want to find out. But no, uh, any any time I hit. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to anyway. The biggest thing I'm dealing with right now is just trying to modulate my turns again, or the the amount of angle I need to give now, because it's it's willing to give me a lot more than before. I had to. I had to really uh, really say, "Come on, let's turn." And now it's like, "Okay, <laughs> like okay." Which some people like that. And I'm just not used to that yet. Honestly, manhole covers scare me more than uh, than cracks. Taking a turn over a manhole cover because that's you're going from asphalt to uh, to steel. <laughs> you're going from a surface that's somewhat grippy to a, to a surface that's smooth somewhat. That's the things I don't like running over on a turn right now. My hand isn't going numb as quick because the vibration isn't as bad. And I, honestly, I think I think a lot of the vibration was just because of uh, the front tire as bad as it was stepping. It was stepping pretty good. I really think that had a lot to do with most of the vibration. Oh yeah guys, so when I went to go get the tires put on, uh, I got to ride in the rain again. That makes four times I've rode, I've rode in the rain. And I don't even have rain gear yet. So because of that, same friend that uh, was telling me about tires and that he uh, he said you know he said you really need to come up with a name that fits that bike since since you did your MSF course in the rain and a couple literally a couple weeks after you uh, you started you got that bike and started riding it you rode through a thunderstorm and and treaded water with it you, you really need to uh, make a fitting name for that bike. So we were joking and we came up with something that actually fits it. I was going to call it Mac because the bike, when I got it, 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 seems like, it seemed like a boy. <laughs> 